of course, it's, it's very concerning for us. So, yeah, our, our investigators were working around the clock last night and they will continue to do so. A very violent night in the city of Vancouver has led to a very busy morning for Vancouver police. The department is investigating three homicides at two different locations. This normally very quiet South Vancouver neighborhood is surrounded by police tape on Thursday morning. On Wednesday night around 7:30, police say a person was shot and killed outside of a home here along 64th Avenue. Officers responded to multiple 911 calls of shots being fired near East 64th Avenue and Knight Street. One victim was found dead in front of a house in that area. I just uh, hear bang, 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 bang. There's about, you know, in a bit of like four and three. And I thought it was just uh, some guys uh, doing the fireworks. It's definitely jarring, you know, like it's, it's something that I wasn't ever prepared for. Um, you think that these kind of things don't happen in your own backyard, but um, clearly they do. Police have not released the name of the victim and are not confirming if a burned out vehicle found in Richmond is connected to the homicide. There was another grisly scene in Vancouver's downtown east side on Wednesday night. Two people were found unresponsive in a room at the Astoria Hotel on Hastings Street. One victim was pronounced dead at the scene and the other was pronounced dead at the hospital. So right now we uh, aren't releasing any of the identity of the victims. These are the city's 12th, 13th and 14th homicides of the year. Vancouver police say the two incidents are not related and the public is not at risk. No arrests have been made. Anyone with information on either case is asked to call Crime Stoppers. In Vancouver, Greg Harper, City News.